The title of the show is Refraction, uh, which means the change in the direction of a wave when it enters a different medium. For instance, a beam of light hitting water. So the exhibition has uh, three components. There is a four-channel installation in this room. The exhibition also consists of eight panels of photographs, which are presented in a medium called the lenticular image. And there is also a computer animation titled Slice. These are lenticular images, images which change as one moves around them. So one of the um, interests of mine over the years has been how do we organize and classify images. And so for this particular project, I had to uh, create small little narratives based on the set of um, subject matter available to me. And the way the uh, lenticular process is created is that one selects a set of images that then get ordered in a particular direction. And then the image is then sliced into tiny, tiny slivers, which are then printed and mounted against a plastic lens. So the lenticular format allows for one image to contain multiple others. And the story itself is how each of these single images relate to each other and how the viewer makes a meaning out of looking at them. Digital images are made up of particles, digital data, numbers, and this work is a computer animation that takes a photographic image and slices it up to the point where it's not recognizable anymore. The exploration of a work like this one is about how we recognize images, uh, the pleasure we find in the order, the structure, the play between that which is recognizable and that which is not. Okay, so what we're seeing is, is a visual and sonic work that's happening in real time. It's being created as I'm standing here and what's creating it is the computer program. And the computer program represents the aesthetic decisions that I and my collaborators have um, decided upon. So the sound we're hearing is spatialized. Uh, we have a four channel system and what the software is doing is, is going through and reading parts of the images, filtering it and this filtering tweaks tweaks the, the numbers and creates the sounds that we have. In this case, we've got two different, two different events going on, each generating its own sound components. And so the challenging part for, for a digital work like this is to, to be able to understand and, and define ahead of time what all the aesthetic interests are and then to write a computer code that will express that in real time. So throughout the length of the exhibition this program is going to be running producing its own composition based on the rules that we've uh, encoded into the software. <laughs>